Hello, today I'm going to be showing you all some climbs in the V5 to V6 range. Pretty much all of these climbs are me repeating them and recording them, but that being said, um, this entire video was filmed in one session, so doing multiple V5s and multiple V6s in one session is pretty damn good for me. So yeah, starting off with this uh, pretty cool V5, we've got this, like we're kind of walking horizontally up the wall. Then, yeah, getting the foot across, kind of doing the splits a bit, getting this next hold up so I can move up the leg one more time, and then just reaching up on this massive hold. It's actually a pretty good hold up there, it's not too slopey. Just gonna make sure to, yeah, get all the way up, of, up above it. Okay, this is the only climb that I'm not repeating. So this is either, I don't want to spoil it, but will be my first time doing it and it's a slab very much um, my worst style I find it very very challenging just staying on the wall being close to the wall and grabbing small holds and trusting the small feet and then moving up to the big uh, yellow holds a bit slurpy but not too bad but I can't, I'm kind of like pushed myself off of the wall I put on my more aggressive shoes to see if that would help. <laughs> there we go, moving across. And one thing I forgot was going out for this right hand, I needed to pinch it, like hold it like that so that um, holding it won't just push me off the wall. So there we go. Getting this left hand isn't so bad. Now it's just, yep, trusting feet which I find difficult. And then, yep, readjusting here, which isn't that great. Oh, you can see me shake a bit. Really, yeah, I'm really uncomfortable right now. <laughs> Just absolutely hate these types of climbs. Moving up. Really can't see the feet. I keep moving up, but I should be moving my foot, um, my right foot up. But that massive blue hold is in the way, so I couldn't see it. So I, yeah, I should move my right foot up here. But I, yep, couldn't see it. Didn't realize it was there. So I got with the right hand, but too stretched out this time. And yeah, at this point, I was losing. Yeah, I was sweating too much, and yeah, losing grip, and just <laughs> got a bit too scared, so I bailed out of that one. And I decided to just skip that for now, because I wanted to try out or try to send and repeat other clients. So here's a V6. Nice toe hook here to match. And this one's a really awkward hold. Really gonna move myself down and under it. It's a bit slopey. And then it's just a grab around the corner. Jumping a bit, releasing the toe hook, grabbing it, and just, yep, staying on the wall. Bring the foot up so I can grab this hold and I broke the beta here just standing all the way up and then grabbing this next hold I was supposed to cross over with my left and grab this hold like that and then grab the big hold but I just skipped it by kind of doing a pistol squat so there we go nice reach around the corner this one is I'd say it's it looks very straightforward, but the holds are slopey where, to the point where it's just, it wants to spit you off the wall. Yeah, I'm just trying to find grip here and then trying to <laughs> bring that left hand up without like moving too far away from the wall. And one thing I realized when I initially did it was, I'm supposed to flag my right foot far right as possible, which gives, I think like, gives me <laughs> enough um, to bring me close to the wall so I'm not leaning out too much. Kind of same type of move and then this next one is a, is a jug, but just gonna do a little jump for it, <laughs> doing a weird frog um, <laughs> position on the, on the start holds. Then bringing my right foot up, but here I was just shaking. 
I was shaking. I didn't know what to do. I forgot my beta. Went up for it with the left hand, but didn't really commit too much, and I didn't really grab it. So yeah, flagging out right, grabbing the left hand, switching feet, and then going up with the right. Yep, really, really wants to spit you off, so you gotta hold on really, really tight. Matching this hold, really nice hold. And then I thought about matching that left hand, but no, nope, it's just the same thing. You just gotta do it, just gotta be good and do it, and just commit and grab it. This last hold isn't too bad. So yeah. Now a V6 on the overhang and the start is really really cool. It's a double knee bar for me. It's actually yeah this is uh, my first time doing that which is really cool really satisfying once you like learn how to do it just apply pressure through your <laughs> apply, <laughs> apply pressure through your feet. Really yeah I love the overhang. This nice toe hook here to keep on the wall to get this um, right hand and then I'm using a really cool toe hook with the left to stop myself from going out of the wall and then keeping tension in the feet to go up for this left hand putting a heel on for this right and then putting on a high heel releasing the right foot and then uh, moving across to this massive hold and here it kind of feels like yeah you're leaning out of the wall really awkward holding onto that big hold but once you grab uh, the these last holds it's uh, they're yeah, really good jogs just gonna top out and yeah it's just step on them and yeah finish the climb really like that one and here's like pretty much the exact same climb but it's yeah it's pretty much the exact same climb as the other one but this time instead of flagging all the way right I have to lean into it as much as possible and then here really awkward I go for a heel hook to reach up with the right hand and then there we go I try to match and hold on but I was just slipping and I just, so I just got spat off but Hey, I'm, I'm gonna count that, I'm gonna count that. This next one is pretty cool, starting with a bicycle. There we go. And then releasing the right hand to match this, and then bringing the feet all the way across. Two, uh, then go up for this left hand. Switching the grip on my right hand and then that just made it so much easier to put a heel on leaning back and then going up for the right hand here Then it's yep a really nice jog on this left hand Needed to bring the feet up and then move across the rest of the climb is pretty easy from here Really nice holds But here yeah, I hesitated a bit. I just needed to stand up and go for this next hold it's really really good but um, yeah just wasted energy moving up onto this it's actually uh it's a bit of an awkward hold so it, it's bigger and it's like kind of a pinch but yeah it wasn't really that efficient climbing and i was just way too pumped trying to go up for the final hold so i just bailed so after a quick scrub <laughs> of the holds, just to make sure I get this start section more efficient and just get through it faster so I uh, don't lose too much energy. <laughs> Getting that wasn't promising at all, but I just decided, yeah, I just gotta keep going. There we go, bring the feet across, left foot to grab this. Hold, I cut feet here which isn't great, yep not great, <laughs> but change the grip, pop a heel hook, go up with the right hand, go up with the left, there we go, needed to, need to bring my feet, feet up, then just traverse across a bit, 
there we go get the feet and then just yep go and then yep just went again really confident just try to get through this as fast as possible trying to adjust my grip on this a bit and then I just needed to go needed to go for this hold last hold it's not too bad so yeah there we go so yeah these are the climbs that I did um, yeah I hope you guys enjoyed I was I'm really happy with my progress so far and I hope you guys uh, stick around and subscribe to see my progress so yeah I'll see you guys in the next one peace <laughs>